Hello and welcome back to the part 2 of this video showing you how to draw a 8 pointed star. So if you missed the part 1 which is the method 1, uh, so kindly check the description of this video. I'll leave a link to the part 1 if you missed the part 1. So now in this part 2, like I said, I'm going to be giving you a second approach on how to draw a 8 pointed star. So just like we have it in the part 1, you know, I said it that what we need when we want to draw a 8 pointed star, we're going to need octagon and octagon. And if you look closely, we already have octagon on this sheet. I've gone ahead to draw the octagon and if you don't know how to draw an octagon or if you need um, a video to guide you so just check the description of this video I'll leave a link to one of the videos that I've done showing how to draw a regular octagon so and also note that when you are drawing your octagon make sure you draw it with a faint line because what you actually need are the vertices that is all this point this point here so let me call it A so this point here which is vertex let's call it B then let's call this C D, E, F, G, and then let's call this H. So those points there are the vertices. So those are the things that we need. That's why I said when you are drawing your octagon, you draw it with a faint line. So now that we've achieved that, the next thing is for us to start drawing those lines that will give us our eight-pointed star. So to drawing that, I'm going to be starting from this vertex A. From this vertex A, you can start from any point. You can start from any point, but I'm going to be starting from A. So the lines that we are going to be drawing is so from A. Now I'm going to be drawing a line to point D. So from A to point D, and why point point D? What it simply means that from point A, I'm going to be skipping two or the two next two vertex vertices and then draw it to the third one. So if I should take it from point A, so just follow along. So from point A, if I should take it to point D, with a bold line. So you see what I've just done from point A, I've skipped two, two vertices and then I draw the line to the third one. So the same thing we are going to do, so from point D, we are going to skip the next two vertices, that is E and F, and draw a line to the third one, which is G. So let's do that. So from point D, I'm going to draw a line to point G. So this is what we are going to be having. So the same thing we are going to follow. So from G, I'll skip the next two vertices and draw it to the third one. So I'm skipping H and A and draw it to B. So this is what we are having. And then from B, we are going to skip C and D and draw it to E. So I hope you have gotten the concept behind this. So if you have been able to get it, so what, where next do you think we are going? So now from E, if you should skip the next two, where next do you think we are going? So just note your answer. So if you should skip F and G, then we are going to draw a line to H. So if, you are able, if your guess is right, so let me know in the comment section. If you, are able to, if you are able to guess right. So now from H, where next do you think we are going? So if you should skip the next two, which is we are going to be skipping A and B, we are drawing it straight to C. So from... Vertex H, you draw a line to C. So now from C, again, we are going to skip the next two. And where next you are going? We are going to take it to vertex F. So if you skip D and E. So from C, you skip these two, you go to the third one. So with that, we have one more left. So where is that coming to? So if you should skip from F now, if you should skip G and H, you go to the third one, which is A. So with this now you can see we already have our eight pointed star so now let's quickly compare it with what we have in the uh, part one so you can see it this is what the part one look at look like eight pointed star why this is the uh, method two so whichever one you think that is convenient for you and let me know what you think about this two what did you notice what's the difference between the two so your observation and then you know what you think about the two method let me know in the comment section below and also, if you want to know how to draw that uh, nine, other type of pointed star, uh, just check the description of this video. I'll leave a link to other uh, pointed star, like what we have here. Like this is the six six pointed star. So right here we have the five pointed star. So this is actually a nine pointed star. There are actually three methods to draw in drawing the nine pointed star. And this is another method for nine pointed star. So I'm going to leave a link to all of this video uh, in the description of this particular video. So kindly check them out. So and if you have any question or any comments for me, just leave them in the comment section below. 
and if you find this video helpful like i said earlier please give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe uh, please consider subscribing it's absolutely free also check out our playlist on engineering and technical drawing there are a lot of videos there that i believe will be of help to you you can also visit our website paacademy.co paacademy.co and with that guys i'll see you all in another video thank you very much